After high school, I got in trouble a little bit. Got off probation, got permission to join the Navy in 81, got out in 91, and joined the San Diego Police Department in April of 1991. In 98, while I was a patrol officer, had been assigned to work Mission Valley during the Super Bowl. And a bouncer had a drunk at his door, the drunk wouldn't leave, and the bouncer punched him in the nose. Then the bouncer called the cops to have him arrested. So when I got there, and I did a short, brief investigation, we both knew the bouncer was at fault, so the bouncer went to jail. We're on our way to jail, and I'm reading him his rights and talking to him, and he's 26 years old. Not a bad kid, just lost control, didn't know what to do. And the light bulb went on for me. Maybe if I create a training program for the city of San Diego, we can save money. That's the genesis for how I started the company. And when the city said, now nah, we don't want to train bouncers, I created a six hour curriculum based on the police officer rookie program. And then I took the job specific stuff that a bouncer would need to know. I called around the country. I just cold called out of uh, the internet phone book to bars and clubs around the country and asked, hey, if there was a training program, what would you want your guys trained in? And the answers were always the same. Communication skills, use of force, how to put their hands on people, when they can, when they can't, what a drug looks like, what drugs are used most, what to do when they find them, fake IDs, over service, what to do with a minor, how to work with the police, and in May, April or May of 1998, I got our first client uh, here in San Diego. Every attorney in our country has been doing it for years knows the five points that every lawsuit typically covers. Inadequate hiring, inadequate training, inadequate policies, inadequate management, inadequate number of guards. And the attorneys at SUA Bar always look at these five things on how that related to their client getting hurt. Let's train the team to fix these things. And if you fix these things, when they start looking at how these worked, they'll see, well, wait a minute. So you're not required to have training, but you had 16 hours of training? Well, you're above the standard. You're not getting sued for that. You had a policy and procedure manual that matched your training and you follow it? You're not getting sued for that. Your managers are always involved in your issues, whether they help you or they stand back and watch? You're not getting sued for that. They can claim it but you can easily prove you're above the standard, above the standard, above the standard. If a guard is smarter, because he's trained better, he's got the opportunity to get more money. If a business trains their guards correctly, the business has the opportunity to have fewer claims, more money. If the community has guards that are trained, fewer fights, fewer complaints, fewer problems, more money. The benefits are really nearly limitless if you look at all the players, as this police call them, stakeholders involved in training one guard from the guest, the other employees, the owner, the police, the community, the insurance, and everyone surrounding them. This training just isn't get your certificate and go back to work. If you really think about it and you really take it, way more. Welcome to the National Hospitality Operations Security Techniques Training, or HOST Training. This course was specifically designed to give you the tools and techniques you're going to need to do your job safer, specifically for the bouncer, the door host, the floor host, or anyone else involved in security of a nightclub, bar, hotel, or restaurant. We hope you enjoy the course.